Uh, I'm Mike Ward. Uh, I've worked for Webco for 34 years. I uh, started out in shipping and I moved into IT and it become a computer operator for a few years and then uh, since then I've been a programmer. So I've been a programmer for 30 years. In a few words, could you describe Pickleball to us? Uh, fun, just for one. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's something that you can be competitive, you know, still, however competitive, whatever competitive level you want to be at. And, uh, but still have fun with your friends, you know, and get togethers and fellowship and stuff. So, so it's kind of neat because we go to tournaments and uh, we see people that we've seen before. And so, you, you know, you strike up friendships with people from all over. So that's part of the enjoyment of it. Not just the pickleball, but the pickleball part's fun enough. So, yeah. yeah. Pickleball is a lot easier than tennis because the racket's shorter. It's a smaller court and it's a little slower pace, you know. So how long uh, have you been playing pickleball? Been playing since 2000, so four years, 2019. You've been kind of the advocate in, as far as in Webco goes of, right. of pickleball, right? Yeah. You're, yeah, you're the oh, guy yeah. to go to the nose to it. You, you're here to open up the gym. So um, what, what kind of drives you to share the passion of pickleball with people? I, I know if they give it a chance that everyone will enjoy it. I mean, for the most part, if, if you can move around a little bit and, and you kind of enjoy being competitive, then it's just super fun. So you talked about that you've won some tournaments. Yeah. Could you uh, explain a little bit more in detail what 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 kind of tournaments you've you've won? Yeah, I, I started out in 3-0. That's a be beginner level, uh, you know, competitive beginner level. Uh, won the Texas Open singles, and my brother and I won doubles, men's doubles, and that was four years ago. And then I've won some at 3-5 level, and in the last few years I've been at the 4-0 level, which is advanced. I won the uh, Oklahoma State games. I won uh, gold in all three divisions. So I won singles, um, double, men's doubles, and mixed doubles. So I've had some success and I've had some failures. <laughs> I don't win all the time. You talked about uh, different age levels. Is this kind of like golf to where there's where's different age brackets compete right. against each other? Yeah. So so if the tournament's big enough, they'll have a you know kind of a 19 plus and a 50 plus. If the tournament is really large, like a a uh, state level tournament, you know, in Texas or whatever, they'll have 50 plus, 55 plus, 60 plus, all the way to 75 plus. So they break it every five years. And then within that, you have a skill level, whether it's 3 4 4 5. And so 4 5 normally is 4 5 plus. Um, once in a while, you'll have a 5 0 division, but there's so few guys that are at that level, they just call it 4 5 plus. So you talked about the rating system a little bit. Uh, yeah. Three point five, as you say, is three point five is intermediate. Intermediate. So it's it's still good players because what happens at three point five, you just have to be below four zero. So someone may be kind of a three nine, three nine nine even, and they could still play in three five. You know, so some people are don't think they're ready for four zero. So you get some four zero type players in three five still, um, but mostly there there is a difference between three five and four zero. You know, because 4-0, you start getting guys that are closer to 4-5, which is really advanced. You've got here for us a, a paddle on a pickleball. If, yep. Could you could you hold it up a little bit and just kind of yeah. explain? The paddles are, the nicer paddles are carbon fiber paddles. Um, there's been a big push for more spin and durability. And uh, this is just like a wiffle ball you'd play in the backyard, you know, play baseball. The outdoor balls are, have smaller holes, that way they penetrate the air more. And then the indoor balls have larger holes. And I think the outdoor balls could be a, just a hair harder. So the majority of the tournaments we play in are all outdoor balls. On A lot of times it's on an indoor, uh, well it's on a uh, tennis court surface. Oh, okay. And once in a while you play on a gym floor and they'll use indoor balls for that. Uh, yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about the net and the court? The net is 36 inches on the sides and it's 34 in the middle and the court is 20 by 44 and the kitchen line is at 7 feet. So there's only 15 feet behind the kitchen line that if someone lobs you, you got you know, you to be able to cover that. So, you have any recommendations for an amateur to get out and play? Where do, where do you recommend they start at? Do you know? Do you um, Greater Tulsa Pickleball will have a website that we have a website, a Facebook website. You just go there and see where the public play is. You know, they're at churches and mostly at churches and sometimes at the Y. Well, Mike, uh, I know that you're really big into all the wellness challenges we do. I yeah. know that you're big into golf. You're big into, you used to play softball for yeah. the Webco softball team. Yeah. 
But uh, I just uh, appreciate that you're willing to share the gym with others here and uh, share your story with us here. So you thank bet. you. You bet.